This is Sarah with In Social News, and today I am joined by Francisca. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I'm so excited to talk with you about everything they've got in the works coming up. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Francisca here is an event planner, organizer, and the chairman for um, Milwaukee Fashion Week and uh, Fashion Fest. Yep. And so. Recently, uh, I believe September is when we just had Fashion Week and Fashion Fest, and that was incredible. Thank I mean, you. that was a wonderful experience, and just because of you, I got to meet so many people and just get into this community, so thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm but, glad. Yeah, <laughs> and that was... How that was your second or third year doing that? It was second year of Fashion okay. Fest, first year bringing back Milwaukee Fashion Week. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And how did you enjoy that experience? I mean, what was it like to just put all that together because it was such a success? Oh, thank you. Um, team effort, yeah, all the way. Um, <laughs> definitely didn't do it by myself, but it was amazing. It was a lot of work. Uh, our team did a lot, but. Um, we were surrounded by great people, great <laughs> models, um, great designers that really helped us pull it together. Yeah. And it was just really nice to get the audience excited and, yeah. and see the turnout and the love that was shown for it. It was really cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, we've got yet another year coming up yeah. in, uh, we've got the model call in July. Yeah. Yep. How has it been to prepare for that? The model call isn't too, um, too complex. We have great models. They show up. They, you know, we, it's pretty standard. Um, the real uh, work goes into how do we make the show different than the last? How do we yeah. make it better than the last? Yep. Um, how do we bring the right talent together to, to do that? And so... Um, that's that's what's the most exciting but also can be the most challenging part of planning yeah. so that's what we're working on right now with the team and our meetings and getting all that together okay awesome yeah. and how long have you just in general been doing like yeah. how long have you been I would say in the fashion world of organizing like the, or putting together these events yeah for for a while now so my degree started off as fashion design okay. actually locally at Mount Mary oh, um, cool. which is you know <laughs> shout out to Mount Mary and um, then I realized that I really enjoyed the planning side mm -hmm. and the business side of fashion. Yeah. And so um, transitioned to that, um, the merchandising major. And throughout my time, oh my gosh, for the past decade or so, I mm -hmm. would coordinate different wedding, quinceanera, yeah. fashion shows, um, and, and I really loved it and wanted to bring all that together for Fashion Fest and have yeah. a festival around that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's been so amazing, too. I mean, literally, everybody is looking forward to this next show again. Do you have additional um, shows outside of that that you're working on or coordinating right now? Yeah, so we actually are partnering with the Milwaukee Art Museum right now for Art and Bloom. Oh. And so that is April 19th. Okay. And it's going to be amazing. Last yeah. year was amazing. So that's really exciting to have that partnership. So we have that in April. And then um, then September will be the next uh, batch of events. And we're yep. doing a full week this year. So September 9th through the 15th, the shows will be on the weekend. But yeah, more to come. We have a whole week of fashion for the city. So. Yeah, absolutely. Have you been to any shows recently that were really like inspiring to you or kind of churning the ideas for what's to come for Fashion Week and Fashion Fest? Yeah, so um, December, we uh, our, our team supported our, our other team member, Carlos um, yeah. Vergada and Copyright, and we went out to, to that show. And I yeah. know there's a few coming up that I want to attend and yeah. I'm excited about supporting um, just as, a, a, as an audience member. So, yeah. 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 Awesome. <laughs> and do you, I don't know if this is a sneak peek or if you can talk about this yet, yeah. but do you happen to know kind of the themes that we might be seeing for uh, Fashion Week and Fashion Fest? So the with bringing back the week-long um, programming, so to speak, even though every day is not going to be a fashion show, mm -hmm. what we really want to do this year 
is bring resources in addition to the fun shows to the models. So yeah. we are looking at um, how do we get talent agents there? How do we get um, oh. you know different potential buyers there, or or any resource that can take it above and beyond and past the show? Yeah. Um, so not so much a theme, so to speak, but that's really where our mind is, and how do we bring resources as well as a, a fun and amazing show um, yeah. to Milwaukee? How has this been like a a changing experience for you? Oh, absolutely. I've met so many wonderful people. Yeah. And just on top of that, like hearing, you know, what you just said, you were able to meet so many people from Fashion Fest. Like that warms my heart. That makes my heart smile when someone's like, I was able to connect with so-and-so from the yeah. event. Um, I think that we're all blessed to be a blessing. So when you're able to be like a connector or a vessel where someone can meet someone else through you, yeah, um, that has been by far the most rewarding part of it all. And yeah. just seeing the creative environment that Milwaukee has that's starting, you know, that's coming yeah. out again and and um, really flourishing and, and being unpolished unapologetically you know present yeah I think is really cool it's just like for me personally that launched my whole modeling career right yeah. Yeah. and so if you could you know say anything to aspiring models or designers or anybody that wants to be involved in these kinds of events any advice what would you tell them I would say um do it scared. Do it anyway. Yeah. Um, you're not going to be perfect when you start. Yeah. None of us are, even when we've been doing it for a while, whatever yeah. you know capacity we're we're um, in. And um, I think that a lot of times people wait for the right moment. You just got to do it. Be reliable. Yeah. So if you give your word, you know, yeah. communicate. Um, yeah. And and make sure that you you show up and yeah. just give it your best. It's, yeah. And and be okay with. Um, every door not opening but don't stop knocking yeah, yeah. that's great that is yeah. great advice